Hello everyone, let's look at an overview of how enzymes are regulated in our body. A very good question to ask would be, how is metabolism regulated? It is a very complex system which you'll learn in more detail about. But for an overview purpose, the pathways are highly controlled. They can be turned on and off as required. Enzymes play a very important role in regulation. As you already know, they decrease activation energy by binding specific substrates or cofactors or coenzymes, and they orient them such that the reaction is facilitated. Enzymes are very specific. You do not get side products. They facilitate reactions by coupling endergonic with exergonic reactions and arrange them in a spatial and sequential manner within a pathway. There are two ways you can control the key regulatory enzymes in a metabolic pathway either through gene expression or through enzyme activity. Controlling gene expression is a slow control method where you control the amount of enzyme that is produced. Enzyme activity, on the other hand, is a rapid control method which can be broken down into covalent modification and allosteric regulation. Covalent modification is turning enzymes on and off, such as glycogen phosphorylase. Allosteric regulation is fine-tuning through kinetic control. An example would be phosphofructokinase. Let's have a quick review about allosteric regulation. Activators or inhibitors bind to a site which is different than the active site. It binds to the allosteric site which leads to a change in conformation of the active site. Activator is positive control whereas inhibitor is negative control. Allosteric regulation is a reversible process. Feedback inhibition is also an important aspect. Accumulation of the final product usually inhibits the first reaction. The first step is a good target because it prevents from using up the substrate. The intermediates don't accumulate and the energy is not wasted. It is often the first step because there can be alternate mechanisms. This is an example of an alternate mechanism. You can have a complex system where the final product inhibits an intermediate, which in turn inhibits the first step. Thank you. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below.